Hello and welcome to this learning video. Now here in this learning video, I have come up with uh, a very important and very tricky problem of this uh, entire topic for year series where you have to express sin x as a cosine series in the interval 0 to pi and this is the question where student end up with committing mistakes okay so this is not about sine series this is about you have to express this sin x as cosine series so what is my f of x here my f of x is sin x and i have to obtain the cosine series in the half range so half range cosine series meaning thereby i have to find out a0 and an okay so let us start with this problem so let us start with uh, let f of x is equal to what is f of x f of x is sin x 0 less than x less than pi say equation 1 and we have to express this f of x in terms of cosine series so you can write the required the required cosine series is required cosine series is f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x okay say this is to be equation number 2 right so what we have to find out so we have to find out a0 and a n so where a0 is equal to what is it 2 by pi integration 0 to pi f of x dx and what is a n a n is 2 by pi integration 0 to pi f of x into cos nx dx simple so my objective is to find out a0 and a n okay to obtain a0 to obtain a0 so what is a0 a0 is 2 by pi integration 0 to pi what is my f of x my f of x is sin x okay what is integration of sin x integration of sin x is minus cos so this is minus cos x 0 to pi so this is i can write here so this is 2 by pi minus outside so cos pi is minus 1 and cos 0 let me write here cos pi minus cos 0 so this is minus 2 by pi here it is cos pi minus 1 minus cos 0 1 so answer comes out to be 4 by pi so this is my a0 so what is my a0 my a0 is equal to 4 by pi <clears throat> clear now after uh, getting a0 as 4 by pi what we need to do we just need to find out a n so what is a n a n is equal to 2 by pi integration 0 to pi f of x that's sin x into cos n x dx as I said uh, in the earlier lectures also that give preference to the bigger angle. The bigger angle is this. So you can write this as 2 by pi integration 0 to pi cos nx. Take this 2 inside 2 cos nx into sin x dx. Now I am going to make use of the formula. And that formula is 2. So you can write it above the margin 2 cos a sin b so whenever there is one sin and one cos you can write this one as uh, sin a plus b sin a minus b and because cos appearing first so this is minus so this is sin a plus b 
minus sine a minus b so i'm going to apply this formula here okay so this is okay so this is same as 1 by pi integration 0 to pi what is it sine sine a plus b so sine n plus 1 x minus sine n minus 1 x dx okay now apply the apply the integration that's a very simple integration so i'm writing here a n is equal to 1 by pi what is integration of sin n plus 1 is minus cos n plus 1 x divided by the coefficient of x that's n plus 1 minus integration of sin minus cos this become plus cos n minus 1 upon n minus 1 limits 0 to pi okay now apply the limits when you apply the limits what you will be getting this is 1 by pi <coughs> here it is minus cos n plus 1 pi so cos n plus 1 pi minus cos n plus 1 pi upon n plus 1 minus n plus 1 is common okay minus cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so minus minus this become plus okay plus what about this this n minus 1 i am keeping common to both the term so this is uh, cos n minus 1 pi so this is cos n minus 1 pi minus cos 0 cos 0 is 1 okay so what is cos n minus 1 pi and cos n plus 1 pi so cos n plus 1 pi is minus 1 to the power n plus 1 this is minus 1 to the power n minus 1 so let me solve this now okay so I will remove this my a0 is 4 by pi so you just remember this a0 4 by pi a0 is 4 by pi this is my a0 okay <clears throat> so continuing with this so this is a n is equal to 1 by pi and this is minus of minus 1 to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus 1 this plus this is minus 1 to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1 minus 1 upon n minus 1 so collecting the like terms what like terms you will collect now or if you can see okay so you can collect these terms okay first of all you have to make this minus 1 to the power n okay okay so this minus 1 to the power n plus 1 can be written as 1 by pi this minus 1 to the power n plus 1 this minus 1 to the power n plus 1 and this minus can be written as this minus 1 into minus 1 to the power n plus 1 okay so i can write this one as minus 1 minus 1 to the power n minus 1 by law of indices so this minus minus is plus 1 so this is minus 1 to the power n upon n plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus now this can be written as this is minus 1 to the power n minus 1 this can be written as minus 1 to the power n into 
minus 1 to the power minus 1. So this is minus 1 to the power n. This can be written as 1 upon minus 1. So this is so this is minus 1 to the power n minus of minus 1 to the power n. So I am writing this as minus of minus 1 to the power n upon n minus 1 1 upon n minus 1. Okay? So just removing this. If you want to see, you can see here what I have done. Okay? So now collect the like terms. So the like terms are this and this and this and this. So these are the like terms. So when you collect these like terms, you will be getting 1 by pi from here. What is common? Minus 1 to the power n is common. So we remain with 1 upon n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon n minus 1 and here we have this 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon n minus 1 let me remove this now so now as you can see this bracketed quantity is common so i can uh, take this bracketed quantity common and I will write 1 by pi, uh, 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon n minus 1 into minus 1 to the power n minus 1 plus 1. Okay. Here, n should not equal to 1. Why n should not be equal to 1? Because if n is equal to 1, this contribute to infinity. Means a n is not defined, but this is not so. So, a n is equal to 1 by pi. Now, you should solve this. When you solve this, this is n minus 1 minus n minus 1. Is that? n minus 1 minus n minus 1 upon n squared minus 1 into minus 1 to the power n plus 1. Okay, this get cancelled. So we remain with an. That is, an is equal to what is it? 1 minus 1 to the power n plus 1 upon pi into n squared minus 1. So this is my an. I hope this an is correct because. So this a n is equal to minus 1 to the power n plus 1 upon uh, minus 2, yeah, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. So here we can write a n is equal to minus 2 into this upon uh, n squared minus pi into n squared minus 1. Here n not equal to 1. Now let me find out a1. What is a1? a1 is equal to, uh, what is it, a1 is equal to 2 by pi, integration 0 to pi, f of x that is sin x into sin 1x that is again sin x, no this is cos, cosine function, cosine series, cos x dx, so I can give this 2 to here, so this becomes 1 by pi integration 0 to pi sin 2x dx. What is integration of sin 2x is cos 2x by 2 with negative sign. So you can write here 1 by pi minus cos 2x upon 2 0 to pi. Okay, then this when you solve this, so a1 is equal to 1 by minus 1 by 2 pi cos pi cos 2 pi minus cos 0 cos 2 pi is 1 this is cos 1 is 1 so this implies a1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 pi 1 minus 1 
0. Therefore, a1 is 0. Okay, so after getting this a0, a1 and a, you can just substitute in the equation. In the equation, where it is? This one, equation 2. So you can write just, then equation 2 becomes very lengthy problem I must say but if if you are conceptually correct you can and if you are good at integration you can write it then equation 2 becomes this equation 2 becomes what is it f of x what is my f of x sin x sin x is equal to a0 a0 is 4 by pi a0 by 2 plus I will write a1 cos nx plus summation n is equal to 2 to infinity a n cos nx. Why I have just uh, written like this? Because uh, we have found out a1 separately. So you can write this one as that is sin x is equal to 2 by pi this 2 get cancelled with this a1 is 0 0 into cos nx plus summation n is equal to 2 to infinity a n what is a n a n is this so this is minus 2 into minus 1 to the power n plus 1 upon pi into n square minus 1 into cos nx okay writing precisely that is sin x is equal to 2 by pi minus 2 by pi summation n is equal to 2 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 upon n square minus 1 into cos nx and this is the required Fourier series for sin x in terms of cosine okay so just go through this uh, problem once more and if you have any doubt you can ask we can discuss your doubts in the uh, live lectures as well so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.